I literally cried. The worst decision you have made. A woman who cuts her hair like this from long hair is clearly going through some sort of mentally effed trauma. Now I ain't gonna lie. I definitely was. <laughs> Last week, I chopped off over 24 inches of my hair. It truly was one of the most liberating and healing experiences that I have ever had in my life. And because of that, I wanted to share it onto social media. And wow, I did not expect the response that I would get. My YouTube video got over 250,000 views, my Instagram reel got over 350,000 views, and my TikTok got 1.7 million views. That means over 2 million people witnessed my haircut. Of course, most people were super sweet and kind and supportive and amazing, but there was this small handful of people that were very upset and oddly aggressive. There's so many people who could have been born female and appreciated long hair instead of this creature. I literally cried. The worst decision you have made. I am so mad at you. A woman who cuts her hair like this from long hair is clearly going through some sort of mentally effed trauma. Should keep the long, beautiful hair. What a waste. But this comment right here, y'all, this one takes the cake. It is easily the worst and best comment ever. I could never. Guys love long hair, so I am always buying extensions. Cheers to being hotter than she'll ever be. Yes! I love this comment and I'm going to tell you why. Excellently exposes all these subtle insinuations that people internalize from society and the way that women are represented. First off, the insinuation that men love long hair, which automatically puts men into one group as if they don't have their own individual preferences. The insinuation that long hair on a woman is meant to be attractive to men. And the last part, cheers to being hotter than she'll ever be ultimate insinuation, and that is equating long hair to sexual attractiveness. Beautiful comment, I love it! <laughs> now there is a very big difference between comments that simply say, I don't like your hair, and the comments that make these very odd, deep insinuations. And that is because these types of comments, they are projecting. Projection refers to unconsciously taking unwanted emotions or traits you don't like about yourself and attributing them to someone else. Projection is one of the most raw ways that people show these deeply internalized ideas that they have. If you read closely, people don't have a problem with my haircut. They have a problem with the fact that my hair used to look like this. Long hair has always been equated to womanhood and womanhood has always been equated to beauty. Which is why these kinds of people in their smooth brain, they cannot rationalize why a woman would ever let go of this kind of hair. They don't understand why a woman would ever go out of their way to reduce their beauty or femininity. As if me simply just wanting to cut my hair is not a good enough reason. As if the real reason is because I am ungrateful and mentally unstable. But that is exactly why I cut my hair, because all that emotional baggage that I had was attached to the long hair. And for me, it was a way for me to move on, to grow, and to heal. Not the other way around. And you know what? I'ma just say, I'ma be so blunt with you guys. Everyone in the comments is so close-minded. Stop complaining because you're jealous of the length. She said it, not me. Truth is that there were some people out there that were simply jealous. As someone who pays $1,000 for extensions to look like that, I'm livid. She actually cut her hair. I'm here praying for long hair. I would die for that long curly hair. Do you know how many people kill to have that much hair? Like, it's not even subtle. <laughs> Women who show signs of jealousy are not perpetrators, but victims. Victims of a system that breeds insecurity so companies can profit off of those insecurities. Time and time again, we see that more value is attributed to women with more social desirability, especially when women are constantly pinned against each other. Inevitably, this can create jealousy towards other women because they gain more social value from their desirable appearance. 
Long hair has long been marketed as a desirable trait for women. It has also been marketed as a way to differentiate femininity from masculinity. The same way that body hair or lack thereof is marketed to differentiate between femininity and masculinity as well. The social idea that femininity and masculinity are mutually exclusive. This creates the underlying idea that by gaining masculinity, we are losing our femininity or vice versa. When women in movies are in scenes where they drastically cut their hair, these moments are portrayed to provide very deep and intense feelings of grief, shame, and humiliation. Although Natalie Portman and Anne Hathaway had very similar scenes, their real life reactions were very different. Anne Hathaway said, I've now done backflips out of windows, I've jumped off buildings, and cutting my hair reduced me to, like, mental patient level crying. I was inconsolable. Whereas Natalie Portman said, It was actually kind of wonderful to throw vanity away for a little bit. As a woman, you're always expected to be primping and preening yourself. Their different reactions goes to show that although yes, there's a very deep positive value that is attributed to long hair on women, we can also see the opposite when women drastically cut their hair in order to embrace a newfound confidence. We can reshape our confidence to be less dictated by what society deems as ideal and what makes us personally feel the most confident. So let's go all the way back to the original question. Why did you cut your hair? The tangles, the never ending detangling, the management alone was a full time job. It literally gave us plumbing issues. You have no idea how many times our pipes were clogged. It was so long to the point where it was annoying, okay? To get it out of my way, I had to put it in a bun or a braid or ponytail, so I wasn't even enjoying the length. It had become a burden. And my final reason, because it's my hair because it's what I wanted to do. My value as a woman is not tied to my physical appearance and that my physical appearance is not dictated by dead protein that grows out of holes out of my head. And sure, let's just agree for a moment that I look ugly now, that I looked prettier before. Who cares? It's not my job to be pretty. It's not my job to be pleasing to other people's eyeballs. My job is to take care of myself, to take care of my mind, my heart, my body, my soul, and live my life to my fullest. I recommend you do the same.